Hey guys, this is Gamer Cow, and this is take two of this particular production video thing. And my cables are slightly tied up. There we go. Yeah, this is take two, as you can see. I've had to life farm and such as well with this because this freaking level. I spent about an hour. I, I still don't know how that works. Uh, I spent about an hour yesterday. Uh, yesterday being subjective, of course, recording wise, but I spent quite a while trying to do this and I basically got nowhere with it and well I made it to the end of this little tunnel thing like twice never really worked out exactly what I was doing with it and uh, yeah I kind of just got really stupidly annoyed with it because it's such a dumb level for so many reasons and what you're kind of seeing now is a slightly revised um, thing because I slightly know what's coming. <laughs> yes. That's basically it. So the main difficulties with this one, apart from the fact that it's again really freaking long and kind of dumb that way, I almost lost that P-switch there too. Wow. Uh, that would have pretty much killed everything because there'd be no way I could have done stuff with that. But yeah, the main difficulties with this is mostly that it's really long, there's stupid, like, slope physics everywhere, it's very, sort of, confined. I kind of want the life, but I don't want to, yeah, get stuck, because I've, I've died a couple of times trying to get that life just because it sort of clipped me on the edge or something, it's really annoying how that works. But, um... Yeah, it's really claustrophobic everywhere, there's you know, so much crap going on that the game slows down quite a lot too, which is never good, like right here. Um, I have no idea what that springboard is used for, I don't really care for it, and as you see seen there, and they were earlier in the level 2, there are boos in this level, which are some really tiny head things that you can barely even make out, and they have a hitbox which is larger than their sprite too. I guess they kind of look like non-plasmified Rotom, but still. That's utterly besides the point. That spike ball up there will still hurt you by the way, despite it looking like it's just background, it is not. Unlike the forms, which will not hurt you, or move, or do anything that way. Uh, there's a mole up there. You can see where the dirt mounds are for the moles, but you cannot see where when they're going to come out, so that's another annoying issue. And that's sort of needlessly taking a hit, I guess. I don't know. I, I just really do not get along with this level. I don't know how much longer it is after this bit, because this is just about as far as I got. There's a switch puzzle thing with a Mega Mole that's got stuff going on, and this is as far as I ever made it, so I have no idea what to expect from here. Well, I mean, I kind of, I kind of know a bit, because like, I've seen this, of course, and that's fine, but otherwise, no idea. I know I want to kill these, because I just do, in case of stuff. It's a reset pipe, which is kind of annoying. I've got killed here once, because the uh, when the vines cross, it's sort of not... Uh, it's not always possible to move down on them. I ended up... Uh, falling off when I was still attached to a vine, which is kind of needlessly dumb. And, well, what I've gathered from this bit so far, the idea is that you're supposed to get this Mega Mole over here somewhere. I don't actually know where exactly, but I know you've got to do it, and those uh, freaking Rotom guys are going to make it annoying to do. But, yeah, I think I just despawned him. Brilliant! <laughs> Yeah, the I oh goodness, uh, go away. So the idea, I think, is you're supposed to get him down here and hope that you don't get killed, follow him down somewhere, I guess he's still around, and do a thing like keeping him going somehow and hope that he doesn't turn around because you made a mistake somewhere. 
Because if he turns round, I think that would pretty much be it. So yeah, you do that, and then this is... I never actually even got here before, so I'm sort of trying to work out what to do on the fly here. And I think what I'm supposed... To, oh, Jesus, I forgot that wasn't solid there, man. This level is just visually confusing all over the place, and I'm really kind of glad that I didn't keep that of a recording now, because, yeah. So, you lure him down here... And from here, he goes down, and you've got to use him as some elaborate platform to get on into that pipe. Fair enough. That's... that's it. I never actually even made it there in the first place. Crap, crap, crap. I have no idea what to expect now. And there has, again, been no midpoints. There's exactly one power-up during this entire level so far. And this is just needlessly annoying. To be honest, I'm hoping that there is going to be a midpoint or some sort of power-up soon, because I don't want to have to do this all over again. Especially not for just a regular old P-switch, which I think I know I know what to do from here. Because this takes you right back near the start, I hope. I hope I'm not going to get ambushed here. Oh, there's a ghost thing up there. Good job I noticed that. Good job I noticed the extreme amount of slowdown here, which does actually make this very hard to play, believe it or not. You know, spoilers, slowdown makes things more difficult. And that takes you all the way back to the very start, which is okay, because now you can go down here, you can... Remember that there's a Disco Shell around, so you can just quickly get rid of him. That will be a Silver P-Switch up there, which will enable me to get to a pipe. And now I just need to make sure... Wait, no, I can just use it here. It'll be a lot easier. Because, yeah, I can... I basically need it to get in here. So if I use it at that point, just get myself some lives back here. Just because I can. Why not? Because, yeah, the Om Nom Nom pipe is where we go down, and this is not even the whole of it either. There's a ghost over there, and there is a mushroom, thank god for that, but yeah, this is only to the midpoint. I spent an hour yesterday, and I didn't even get to this point. I got as far as uh, that Mega Mole, as I said. I didn't even get beyond that, so... I am kind of extremely glad that I am... Oh, I didn't even see you over there. I'm kind of extremely glad at this point that I have sort of done it this way. But even now, I'm kind of... <laughs> I'm kind of going to start playing the pad again now because I haven't done any of this yet. There was another path that I could have taken, but it was much worse. So, yeah. No point in that. So... New stuff, and I have no idea where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do. I know I'm going to need to get, I guess, something up there. The midpoint comes back. That's actually really good to know, because now I can get another power-up from that, which I didn't know I could do. So next time, I will be able to do terrible playing, because I panicked, and that's... What happens? Freaking hell! There was so many guys, there was no way I was getting through that without a spike ball up there. Right, so, we are learning things at the moment. I need to go to the right, but I have no idea how far to the right I need to go. All I know is that I'm getting this freaking midpoint, and there is nothing you can do about it, because that gets me fire. Fire could be very good in this place, actually. Just, uh, just a thought. Especially with um, all of the burnable guys, like your face, so you can just bugger off, and as can the whole world, really. Because I have fire, and that's what happens when you have fire, you just tell everyone to bugger off. Can I at least try and make sure that you guys are a non-issue? I suppose I kind of can if I take my time with it. And because there ain't a time limit in this level, I might as well, yeah? Yeah, you guys just go ahead and spawn right back. No, burn. I do not care for your existence in this d 
de desolate and not really desolate really is it um I just got an email from probably from my supervisor actually saying hey you can climb on this no that's not what he's saying at all no it's because I'm moving at the end of this month or something so it's all trying to organize meeting times and stuff because yeah from next week onwards I'm sort of transpiring uh, into a new place. Transpiring is not even the word I'm looking for here, but I'm changing my location and that is something that can happen. Uh, is there any point to this bit? Probably, but I don't know it. Also, this water is so weird. But really, I don't understand. Okay then, this is a yellow level, so there isn't another exit? Question mark? What the hell was that? What the actual hell was that? No, it wasn't hell. Nah, seriously, it was- well, no, it was. I'm, I'm not even gonna deny that, but... Okay, I have absolutely no idea what the hell was up with that level overall. I mean, I can understand it being difficult because it is a bonus path level. I mean, this especially. It's a massive shortcut here. You you take one exit coming out of here and you get to skip this and everything else in its own, you know, wake. There's at least three levels you can skip by doing that. So, I, uh, wow. Well, two probably on the same path, because I, I don't know where this one's going to lead, but it probably won't lead up the same thing. But really, what was up with that? It was ridiculously long in the first half, and yeah, I am glad I did not save that recording now. Anyway, it's this music again from World 8 in ASMT, actually. It's the, uh, the Muncher level music. And you know what? This kind of has the same aesthetic as the Muncher level as well, to be honest. Or a similar thing to it, anyway, to start with. I like it, it's cool. But we have some sort of mega spike object down there. I'm not really going to care too much about that because I'm going to get myself another fire flower and somehow trigger a thwomp, I suppose. Because I can do that sometimes. I'm supposed to spin jump off of these. Oh my goodness, I am supposed to spin jump off of all of these, aren't I? Well, I mean, in theory, that doesn't sound too hard, but huh, we all know how that's going to turn out in practice, because seriously... Hmm... There is a time limit in this level too, so... Uh, yeah! Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Is there anything actually up there, though? Uh, maybe. Yes, there is the key, so there is a secret exit in here too. Um... Bugger, that was not quite how that was supposed to go. Let's do the stupidly obvious thing first and see, yeah, there's nothing behind the background there. Just wanted to make absolute sure of that. Uh, how am I going to do this from here? Huh, maybe like that. So take a hit. I don't care because I still got up here anyway. Oh yeah, that's, that's sort of solid. So, now that we are done with that sort of messing about, we can hopefully not die since I've got the key. Wonder what's in there? Probably nothing knowing this game. Oh, for there's a font. Hmm. Hmm, how am I gonna do this with a key? I think <sighs> Oh, I wanted to kick it, but it didn't work. So yeah, we had to do some sort of crazy trickery like that. See, that was the easiest thing to do ever. What the hell, Cal? I realize a lot of other people will say, There is something up there. Damn it, that's probably a vine then, which I'm maybe supposed to use the key for. <laughs> I have no idea. And I don't really care, because I'm just going to take this key with me anyway if I can, because up all yours. I am totally getting this spin jump to pull off. Oh, this looks a bit nasty though. Eee. Don't know how I like this. Is the timing always the same? I think so. How did I not... I was supposed to move forwards during that bit. I was going to say, how did I not get hit before that? Because seriously, that looked frightening. Blind jumps, man. 
you follow coins and they betray you like that. It is. <laughs> How the hell did I not die there? I mean, I'm obviously grateful for it, but dude, that's just. <laughs> How? Also, screen, could you kind of like scroll further? Yeah, because I, I kind of didn't want to have to do that, but apparently I had to do it anyway, so whatever. I don't know where I was going, but I went in a place, and that's all that matters. That sword, is that going to come down on me now? Probably not. Okay. Uh, that, that worked. And then you've just got to do that. Quite straightforward. I probably don't even need the key, which, yeah, I don't even need the key. Whatever, man. Whatever. Autonomous ore crushing. Hmm. That sounds like fun. Let's go see what it's like. Oh, it's it's ho. And you. Oh, you're gonna be interesting to fight up, aren't you? Um yeah, with um it's a ho music too, because why the hell not? We always need more Toho in the place. Alright, so this looks like it's going to be issue related with all the screen shaking. YouTube is going to go crazy. I didn't think he was gonna fall down there. And a useful thing to note is that they are Mario ceiling block things, so yeah, this this is interesting actually. Sort of a uh, I wouldn't I don't know if it's necessarily a unique gimmick as such, but it's definitely good. I want to I wanted to be a bit better in my timing there because I kind of wanted to spin jump over him and I am sort of running out of time here. Ah, uh, crap! Go away! Oh wow, there's a mushroom there too. Cool. Oh, uh, run! Run! <laughs> this is actually really awesome. I like this. Oh, balls. Um, go! Away! Yeah, what was I supposed to do there? Probably the same thing I was doing, but actually delay it more. Wow, okay, this is this is secretly really, really cool. I must admit, I like this. <laughs> it's just enough of what the hellness to uh, become utterly amazing at the same time. Although I really had no time left before, so that never helped. Okay, I can keep on going, and I can keep on moving upwards, and not really upwards at all. I'm not moving up in this place, I am just panicking softly. Yes, because that is exactly how soft panicking sounds. You are not hearing things at this point in time. I am not capable of doing this when big, apparently. <laughs> yeah, because that's really all you needed to do. Wow, this is... Ah, I am scared for everything here. I've actually got the spare hit here now. That's that's pretty incredible. Run, 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 run. Ha! <laughs> I don't know why this is so, like, panic state. Well, I know why this is so panic stationary, because that's exactly how it's set up to be. But that doesn't make it any less awesome. You can't do that when you're big. I'm pretty sure of that. Alright, so... This is getting a little bit silly now, but it it's it's doable. It's just incredibly silly. There's the exit though. We can we can make this font man stay out of my face whilst I hit the exit here. Okay, this uh, that, that was awesome. I must admit, I I loved that a lot. <laughs> Fantastic way of interpreting a boss thing there, and it didn't take too long either because yeah. Again, I will reiterate, I have not played these levels myself before, and I have not seen them since, uh, I can't think too. Oh, wow, you do skip three levels. Uh, the case in point right there. I haven't seen these things in so long, I didn't know there was a level up there. I do kind of wonder what was in that box, though. Maybe I should... I'm gonna try and get it. I guess I'll meet you there. Hmm. Okay, simply because this is science, you know, sciencey stuff. I'm a chemist. I can get away with saying that. Simply because of that, I'm going to. Well, I was saying I was going to put a safe state down there because I didn't think I was going to be that accurate. But oh well. Up, exit, down, mines, blah 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 blah. Okay, right. So we can 
do an elevator level thing. Sure, I guess I should have really saw that coming after that. Oh god, and there's cannons. Of course there are cannons. Is there a power up in here though? Yes there is! Wow, that's un... unnaturally generous of you, video game. So... Yeah, I, I was fully expecting them, but I didn't know where it was going to come down from, so I kind of still got hit anyway, even though I saw it coming in its own remote way. And yes, unintentional pun was unintentional. I don't really care. I am staying away from that freaking sword blade as much as I can. Because that is how it works. You can get killed by another sword blade instead. Fantastic. That's what I expected to happen last time, and I don't think I can actually hit this anymore. No, because I'm not quite sure if I can get back up. No, I can't actually hit it from there if I do that, so yeah, that happened. Things just got a little more interesting. Hmm. It's probably something in one of these, but uh, trying to yeah, there is. But it's extremely hard to get. Now I know which one it's in. Maybe I can somehow navigate through the craziness of that and get it. it would be nice. Whoops. Um. Yeah, kind of panicked a little bit there. You may not have noticed, but I did. Well then. That happened. I thought the key stuck over there, so I was going to try and get it back, but clearly it didn't. Well, guess I'm not getting that power-up, which I could have really done with during this, because this is kind of manic. Yeah, for some reason I didn't think that was going to happen there. Wow. Um, this is kind of hectic. I'm sure there's a safe spot in that bit somewhere, though. Really? Really? Yeah, there's there's no way once it's stuck there. Wow. I'm not very good at that toss. I'm amazed I got it first time, actually. is actually quite easy. What the hell was your problem, Cal? There's nothing wrong with that. Wow, and, and of course there's a mushroom net. Oh my goodness, this is getting kind of a little bit crazy here. Yeah, so much spin jumping all over the freaking place. I accidentally took that mushroom, which is a bad idea because obviously that, but... Oh, there's another one. Wow, you are being super generous here. Huh. What else is gonna come up now? Of course, surprise swim. Right in the 
right in the place where I was at. Yeah. Um, why did I try and spin jump on it when it was jumping up? That was a bad idea. Go away, all of you vile fiends. I am running a hell away from here, and there is nothing you can do to stop me, because I can get myself a secret exit. Is there anything up here? Yes, there is! There's an extra life! I was just about to say, there totally should be something up there. And there was! Heck yeah! Okay, um... Getting there aside, I'm actually really happy with that. Switch of many hues. That was an SNN level, wasn't it? So I remember that being sort of weird to go around. But you know what? Save that for next time. This is being Game of Cow playing Super Mario World Production Central, and... Thank God this was a take two in the end, because, yeah, an hour of rage quitting, basically, that I legitimately rage quit it after the hour. It was just, no, and I, I, I didn't want to, didn't want to have any part of it. So, yeah, kind of glad of that, because I managed to get it done first time on the redo, and that's always the best feeling ever. So, yeah, next time, switch up any hues and other stuff.